Oh boy, this is a video I was not planning to make and hoping I wouldn't have to make for quite some time. So this is going to be a quick video, a little bit rough, because I want to get the information out there. Right now, there's been some interesting developments in the open core community concerning the classic Mac Pro and Mac OS Monterey. Open core expert John DeGroof is recommending holding off on upgrading to Mac OS Monterey. The first reason is because of a setting called SBM, Secure Boot Model. If you happen to perform an MVRAM reset, you know that crazy key combo that clears out some settings, also used to be called the perimeter RAM. Well, if you perform that, it clears out the SBM. If you do that, then it can no longer locate the boot volume and you have to go through the process of reinstalling. That means going through the recovery partition or some other method. At least he said he did not lose his data, so that's good. But also, if you enable that setting, it prevents you from being able to boot previous versions of Mac OS, at least before Big Sur. So the second part is much, much worse, and that has to do with the latest developments with Mac OS Monterey 12.1 Beta 1. So things could change because this is the beta, but remember that random number problem we had with the boot sequence and it caused it to crash and sometimes corrupt? That same CPU instruction appears to be used quite a bit more in Mac OS Monterey 12.1 Beta 1. So let's talk about that. I didn't have a video planned, so this is going to be pretty quick. First, I just wanted you to see John DeGroof's actual words. This was posted on OpenCore on the Mac Pro. I recommend pausing the video and reading his words yourself. In the OpenCore Legacy Patcher community, it's been reported that right now, RD RAND is a requirement for boot. Now that I said that out loud, I'm not even sure if I said that correctly. It might be R-D-R-A-N-D. RDRAND, let's go with that, is an instruction for returning random numbers from an Intel on-chip hardware random number generator, which has been seeded by an on-chip entropy source. In previous videos, I've mentioned that random numbers are really hard to generate on a computer. To use Wikipedia yet again, in computing entropy is the randomness collected by an operating system or application for the use in cryptography or other uses that require random numbers or data. The CPU in this case is designed to generate more pure random numbers than using previous techniques. Requiring this is almost certainly done in the name of security, but it also negatively affects old Mac users. Surplus may have been viewed as a security risk by Apple. The list of affected Macs on the GitHub page were all released in 2011 or earlier. Right now the community is in research mode, and as of recording this, 12.1 is not out yet. Things may change, and if there are any major breakthroughs, I'll try and post about it in this video channel, and most certainly on the definitive Mac Pro upgrade guide. And if you're really antsy about this, I suggest going to the Mac Rumor forums, the Open Core Facebook group, or one of the other communities on the internet, as this is where I get my information as well. If you're feeling undeterred and still want to install Mac OS Monterey, I suggest checking out the Mac Solutions video on this topic. As always, this can be found in the description of this video along with the other things discussed. This concludes this video. My next one should be the review of the M1 Max. It's going to take a while because it's quite long. Thanks for watching.